It's time to find a deserving animal of forever home. Tina Miller is here from the Humane Society of West Alabama with our featured animal. Tina, it's good to have you back. Thank you. Happy first day. Happy first day <laughs> to you. And who do we have with us? Oh, this is Twinkie. Twinkie, like the, the, the snack. The hostess snack. Yeah, kind of go. looks like some chocolate and some vanilla, huh? <laughs> yeah, Twinkie is, um, believe it or not, an adult dog. Mm. She's uh, two and a half years old. She's a Chihuahua mix. And we were talking before, probably a little terrier thrown in there. But um, she is as big as she's going to get. And right now she's only 11 pounds. Mm. Um, she is probably one of the sweetest little doggies that, that we've had in a while. Mm -hmm. She's very like one person oriented, mm -hmm. very much a lap dog. You know, she wants that loving and attention at all times. Um, she actually, you know, was adopted out previously and um, the owner brought her back in and said she was a little nippy. Mm -hmm. She really, I don't mean cold. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she actually is really not nippy. I, th I think I think she just it was high energy at their right. house perhaps right. too much excitement mm -hmm. so she will need a calmer household um, maybe one with not you know not young children anyway mm -hmm. maybe teenagers and um, I could see her with several different groups of people but especially perhaps you know a couple that that would just let her sit right there on their lap and take her for walks and it would just be like them and and her. Right. Because she's really, really, really sweet. <laughs> Not three or four other dogs and three or four yeah. kids running around. Exactly. Shooting BB guns and playing oh, Indians. Gosh. That would send her into a, <laughs> into a nippy <laughs> scene, I think. <laughs> she wouldn't do too well with that. I don't think so. But you see how calm she is mm. now? You know, she's been playing with the girls in the green room and just has just loved on them and... I think she's going to make a great pet for someone under the right conditions. Now, she might be a pretty good apartment dog, too, mm -hmm. since she's smaller and this is as big as she's going to get. Right. She'd be a great apartment dog <clears throat> as long as she got, you know, a couple of walks a day and got enough attention. You know, that's the, the key is attention and then exercise. Now, will she be at the event that you guys are going to have this weekend? Yes, she will. We, we do have our great monthly adoption event this Sunday, November the 11th from 1 to 4 at Pet Supplies Plus there on McFarland Boulevard. And we just want to say a great shout out to Pet Supplies mm -hmm. Plus because they are our partners. They take care of you guys, they don't do, they? They yeah. do in so many ways. And they just roll out the red carpet for our adoption events, bring the doggies out, treat, you know, let us go inside. And if it gets too cold or too hot, you know, we go in there and kind of get a little reprieve. Plus, they sponsor a lot of our our events throughout the year. So we appreciate Pet Supplies Plus. We want everybody to shop at Pet Supplies Plus. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tina, thanks so much for being with us thanks today. Thanks for having us, Danny. Lots of furry friends are looking for a forever home. You can find out more about pet adoptions by calling 205-554-0011 or online at humanesocietyofwa.org. <laughs>